Hi everyone, today we talk about hands. As harpists, we are actually working a lot with the hands. A lot of people ask me, do you have an insurance for your hands? At the moment, no, I don't have an insurance for my hands specifically, but who knows in the future. What I do though, is I try to take care of my hands, which doesn't mean to be scared and not to do stuff. I try not to think that I really need the hands to play the harp. I consider all my body special and I try to take care of it. Some people preserve their hands hands from doing a lot of jobs because they want to not use them but uh, the whole body and the muscles the more you use them the more actually they work well you need to use your body I've never been like oh I don't carry this bag or I don't take this because it's heavy or anything I really try to keep strong by doing things here you can see I've worked really hard <laughs> for my house for my doors and uh, I had no problem doing a lot of manual work which maybe some harpists would be scared to do. I do some stretching with the hands in order to keep them healthy and fit and because of the fact that we do a lot of this movement, they told me already in university to do the contrary movement. So this kind of movement is quite good because it makes the opposite movement as what we do all day. Another good exercise is this one. You put your hands together and you do like this. Here you should feel a gentle pull and here actually on the top as well. This is my routine at the end of the practice time I do like this for the wrists as well and in general I try to rotate so a good trick which I try to incorporate more is to use the opposite hand as you would for normal life as I mentioned I'm left-handed but I take a glass or a plate with the right hand so I actually use the right one more what I try to do is when I work in the garden I try to protect my hands with gloves and uh, sometimes I forget or I'm too lazy to get the gloves and then I regret it all the time and because I have these little micro cuts uh, or sometimes I get dirt under my fingernails and I hate it so it's actually better to wear gloves all the time when you work in the garden as for the skin I know some harpists get uh, really really dry especially in the winter and they get horrible sounding thumbs because it's all dry so the sound is not great there are some products for it I luckily don't have that problem because my skin is fine I have calluses but uh, always soft. What I do though, I put almond oil at night because I actually don't like to have oily hands during the day. I never ever wash dishes because I really dislike the feeling. I always put everything in the dishwasher, even stuff that we shouldn't put in the dishwasher. If I have a patches of very dry skin, especially here, I put this moisturizer, which is very fat and really, really good to rebuild the skin as well. As for the fingernails, I really don't like to have a nail varnish on because uh, to me, it feels that the hand is very heavy. I know it's psychological probably, but it really annoys me. So I don't have absolutely nothing on my fingernails and I keep obviously the fingernails short to play but I have to be careful to cut it not too low because sometimes I cut it too much and then it was very blistery especially the thumb I try to be careful to cut well the corners to sum up I think we need hands yes to play our instrument for our job but also we need them for normal life so I just try to pay attention maybe if there is something super heavy I'll try first and then I'll pick it up but still I try not to think about hurting or injuring the hands because otherwise I think the injury will come to you so let me know what you do for your hands and how do you take care of them and how you preserve your hands uh, the exercises you do or if you don't do anything let me know i'm very interested in your suggestions and i'll see you in my next video ciao thank you for subscribing like see ciao you can do so much with the hands